Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we are going to film of what we eat. The slim stuff. What we eat in a day vlog. If you guys don't know, us as a family kind of are vegetarians. Besides Mackenzie, <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes if we're out and about, we do stop at like Chick-fil-A or um, Wendy's. So yeah, sometimes Kenzie still eats chicken, but we don't eat chicken. So vegetarian meaning we don't eat any type of meat, not even seafood. And we've been doing this since the new year, since January 1st. And right now it's March, mid-March. So um, we get a lot of questions about what we eat in a day since I feel like a lot of people feel like vegetarian is like hard to do. And and it's really, it really hasn't been hard at all. If you guys hear a lot of noise, Sesame Street is on, kids are playing, like this is a real life family vlog. We are still, you know, quarantine is still going on right now. So day five, Darius is Lysoing everything. Is that even a thing, Lysoing? <laughs> all right, gee, all these noises. All right, so we just woke up. We're about to make breakfast and we're going to show you guys what we usually eat almost every day because it's like our go-to tastes so delicious so yeah while Darius is making some fried eggs for our sandwich we've been taking this emergency immune plus with vitamin D every day um, I had it for a while and we honestly haven't been consistent with it until this virus got serious. So we've been feeling pretty good. You just take it once a day and you just mix it with water and I got cherry flavored. I got this at Target. It comes with a pack of 30 and we only got a couple left. Like, So we're probably going to need to get some more unless it's like sold out everywhere since everybody wants to take care of their immune system now. But we had this way before everything. So we just discovered these veggie sausage patties about a month ago. Usually we make our breakfast sandwiches like, you know, without meat, but now I was just like, oh, let me try this out. It's vegetarian. I love this brand, Morningstar Forms. They're all like vegetarian, vegan, plant-based meats. Yeah, but it really tastes like sausage. It has like a great like spice to it. So I really recommend this if you guys want to go vegetarian but still want to have like some type of meat within the day or meat texture meat tasting this tastes like a sausage it has nine grams protein 70 calories we try not to eat too much of these like vegetarian meats or vegan meats because i know it has a lot of soy in it like if we eat this in the morning most times we don't eat like another type of vegetarian meat during the day, usually only eat this type of stuff in the morning. So it comes six in a bag, it's frozen. These are how the patties look, they're frozen. Just pop them in the microwave for 20 seconds, flip them over, put another 20 seconds, and that's it. So I like to make my sandwich on an English muffin, the whole grain one, whole wheat. And I like to use this cheese, the Laughing Cow Spicy Pepper Jack. It's like uh, those little wedges. And it lasts a while because like I just made a sandwich yesterday. I only used that much. And it's just like a spreadable cheese. So I just spread it on here. We also made some tater tots in the air fryer. Um, Darius likes to eat it with a regular plain bagel. So this is our food for breakfast, tater tots. This is my sandwich. Sometimes I do put avocados in it, but we ran out of avocados. It's really, really good. Then this is Darius. He put shredded cheese instead. He usually does sliced cheese, but we don't have any right now. And then Mackenzie, most times she just eats a plain waffle or cereal with almond milk. We don't buy any cow's milk anymore, just all straight almond milk or coconut milk. But she wanted a sandwich too, so we gave her two waffles with some eggs inside and some tater tots. So she has like a little sandwich and then we just did some syrup on it because she loves syrup. These are the waffles we get. We get the Eggo Nutri-Grain made with 8 grams whole grain. 
and can't forget about Cruz, our nine month old. So in the morning, he usually just nurses, but when we eat breakfast, like an hour later, then he'll eat real food. So I made some scrambled eggs and I pieced up some of the tater tots. So I know he's ready to eat. He's ready. We also make coffee in the morning. This is the coffee we use. I know you guys are like, what kind of coffee is this? It's in a bag. This coffee is from Jamaica. It's Blue Mountain Jamaican coffee. You can only get this coffee in Jamaica. I know there are ones in the US that says Jamaican Blue Mountain coffee, but it's not the same. Like this is like straight from Jamaica and it's absolutely the best. Um, since we've been to Jamaica a couple times, like we know, and we have family members that often visit. So they go and get us some. So we're happy about that. So this is actually our last bag and it's grounded it just smells different it tastes different Darius was never a coffee drinker and he swears by this like he this is the only coffee he drinks he thinks he's bad and bougie just because he only drinks Jamaican coffee we have this little filter cup here and we just put the grounds in here put in our Keurig and that's it this coffee is like really smooth it's like totally different then like Starbucks coffee, very different. It's like a different taste. I can't really describe it. But if you guys visit Jamaica, just ask about Blue Mountain coffee. Apparently this is the only coffee that Barack Obama drinks too. So get you some. Instead of creamer, I've been using almond milk. I've been using the sweetened vanilla almond milk for the coffee only. And then for other stuff like cereal, I just use like unsweetened almond milk. And then I like to sweeten it more with organic agave in the raw. This is the agave I really like. It's from Walmart. It's vegan and it's gluten free. And I like it because agave is more healthier than just plain sugar. So you don't need a lot of this. A little circle, some splashes, and I mix it all together. The perfect coffee. Lunch time now, but I didn't get to show what we ate for a snack. So for snack, I actually ate these kind breakfast bars. It's honey oat. It comes like two little bars in here. So I really like to eat this. And I ate this with my coffee and some water. Darius ate some grapes. Kenzie ate some grapes. Like I said, it's lunch time now. So we are going to make a sweet potato black bean quesadilla. So we cut the sweet potato into like cubes, put in an air fryer for like 15 to 20 minutes on like 400 degrees, I believe. Shake them up halfway, then we just mash them up, put them on a tortilla, add some black beans on there. Darius wants to add corn. I don't want to put corn. I don't want to put corn. So usually we make this, we like to put like a squeeze of lime, but since we don't have any, this is what we're going to put on it to season it. We already put like salt and pepper, but I really like this chili lime seasoning blend from Trader Joe's. It really tastes like lime with chili, so it gives it that kick too. So yeah, we're just going to season that. I'm going to season half of it because I want to give some of this to Cruz.
Alright guys, it's dinner time and we are going to make stuffed shells. I just found the recipe on Pinterest. A lot of times we just look at what we have and just type it in Pinterest and look up some recipes. So like, you know, we always have a lot of sweet potatoes because we'd like, we like sweet potatoes. So we look up sweet potato recipe. That's how we came up with the taco or whatever we made earlier, taco, quesadilla. Oh. So yeah, we're gonna make some stuffed shells tonight. Found the recipe online, it's just vegetarian, obviously. No meat. Um, I will link down below the recipe that we got it from. We never really made stuffed shells before, so this will be interesting. We just have the jumbo shells. We literally had this in our pantry for like months, and we just never touched it. It's always said we was gonna make it, we just never did, so. But it's still good. Got the ricotta cheese, sa sauces. What sauce we wanna use? What sauce? Let's see what sauce. Bertoli, vineyard, marinara, or tomato basil. Let's do tomato basil. Actually, no, because we got other pasta, right? Yeah. All right, let's try it. Let's try this one. We're gonna go with the Bertoli. And I never had this one before. It says with Merlot wine. I don't know how that's gonna taste. And then we got the ricotta cheese, shredded cheese, Parmesan cheese, and then I got some lettuce for a side salad to go with everything. So we're about to eat our stuffed shells with a salad. I made the whole box of stuffed shells and clearly I made too much. I never, like I said earlier, we'd never made this before. So just use half the box. Hopefully this is nicely cooked and good. And Kenzie, I'm gonna give her one at a time because she's weird when it comes to stuff like this. Darius making a salad, cutting up some red onion, some tomatoes. And we're gonna put some probably shredded cheese on here. What um, dressing we're gonna do? We got ranch. Also got this dressing, garden herb vinaigrette. I really like this one. And then this is my absolutely favorite and I showed this in our avocado toast video. If you haven't seen that yet, the link is down below. We make avocado toast with sweet potatoes, really, really good. And this is the best ingredient on there. So I didn't get to end the video yesterday of what we eat in a day, but those stuffed shells, oh my gosh, they were so, so good. Like that's gonna be one of our go-to meals. Pretty easy to make. It's kind of time consuming just because you gotta stuff each shell, but still very, very good. Definitely is gonna be our go-to meal. It went by pretty quick because it, I mean, we ate it for lunch and then it was gone because it didn't make too many shells. So probably next time I will get two tubs of ricotta cheese to make the rest with the rest of the shells to make more because Kenzie loved it, Darius loved it, I loved it. It was just amazing. This is the end of the video. If you guys have any questions about being a vegetarian or any other meals, leave a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. If you like these kind of videos, we can do more. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the little bell right next to it so you can get notified whenever we drop new videos. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys next time.